Excuse me. Hey, Joe Jonas. Hey, what's, what's up, up, man? My name How is Devon. You? I'm a local hey. artist. Pleasure. I, I love your look. I would love to draw your portrait if you have time. Oh, please. Yeah. Oh, sick. All right, let's do let's it. Let's do it. What's your name and what's one of your biggest dreams in life? My name is Joe and uh, one of my biggest dreams in life to go to all continents. Antarctica is last on the list. Yeah, wow, well, that's so cool. Yeah, I love traveling. It's like one of my favorite things to do. What inspires your music nowadays? I think being able to tap into emotion yeah. Connecting with an audience in a way where you can have them feel the same things you're feeling yeah. or try to relate with them on a, on a level where we can both look at each other or all of us and say, what do we feel right now? What do you want to make them feel? Yeah. How do you help somebody in a moment where they might be struggling? I think for years I would perform and get on stage and you go th kind of through the motions and you go through the songs. But now a song that I might go on the set list, oh, this is like, this is kind of a one I'm just gonna coast through. I try to find somebody in the audience that I know it's maybe their song or it got them through a difficult time or a happy memory. Yeah. And remind myself how grateful I am that I have that opportunity. Yeah, wow, that's so cool. You have any new music coming out soon? I do, yeah. July 19th, it's called Work It Out. Wow, Work It Out, that's awesome. I can't wait to hear it. Thanks, man, yeah, I appreciate it. How has your creative process evolved over the years? I, I used to really not like the studio. I, I thought that was the, the most challenging part for me. I always felt like performing was, was something that I felt really connected to. Yeah, yeah. Until I think I've gone through my own journey and found so much peace and joy in being able to go into a studio and create and, and the challenge. And also like there's almost a therapy session that you have yeah. with songs and lyrics and finding creative ways to make really emotional lyrics quite fun and lighthearted. Wow, that's so cool. What has been like the most rewarding part of being a father now? I think it changes every day for me. Everything I do now, I do for those two beautiful girls. So yeah. the, the fact that I have somebody looking up to me and yeah. I get to be able to go show them the world and create an incredible life for them, that's, that's what it's all about. What was the most memorable fan interaction that you've had? There's been a bunch. I think probably um, helping somebody propose is always a good feeling. <laughs> There's a young girl in Melbourne, yeah. Australia, going through chemotherapy. Wow. And she had the biggest smile in the audience. Wow, that's so and cool. she was going to come backstage to say hi to me and my brothers before we departed after the show. But I looked at her, I was like, you wanna come on stage? And she, she got all excited. She's like, yeah. And the crowd screamed so loud for her, louder than any song we performed. Wow. And that's what I, those moments I just treasure so much. This person is going through such a difficult experience, but yet is so happy. It really puts your life into perspective and you realize everything's gonna be okay. If you could give advice to your 18 year old self, what would you tell young Joe? Nobody's going to bed like going, I can't believe he said that, or I can't believe he's doing that. Uh, I think it's all in our heads. And that's so true. Be as weird as you want because that's authentically who you are. And one day people will like cheer for you because of that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's so true. What kind of legacy do you hope to leave in the music industry? Being true to myself, being kind even when it's not necessary. And when no one's watching, right? Like, yeah. I think it takes a lot more to be angry than it does to be nice. And No, yeah, for sure. Life's too short to hold grudges. Yeah, I saw you over there interacting with the fan. That was so cool. <laughs> she was so sweet. She didn't want to take a picture. She was like, oh, no, come on. I gotta take one. <laughs> she was like, I'm sweating. I'm like, we're all sweating. <laughs> it's a summer in New York. That's so funny. So what do you do in your free time when you're not making music? Play video games. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite video game? You know, it's quite funny. I think it's because I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah. I like quick games like Fortnite or Call of Duty. Just stuff that I know it's not gonna take more than 30 minutes because usually I've got something to do or yeah. I'm running to the next show. I love music, I love film, I love TV. Consuming, um, seeing what's out there, finding new ways to find inspiration. I love, I love going to concerts as well. I'm pretty active. I like being with friends, hosting people, cooking. What message do you think the world needs to hear right now? I think everybody just needs to take a deep breath. I think we just need to come together as, as people, show more love. Yeah, for sure. We definitely need that right now. Thank you for sharing your life with me. This is my interpretation of your life. Wow. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. That's so cool, man. Wow. Yeah, thank, thank you. So you. Much. It was so great yeah. talking to you. Yeah. So, so nice to meet so you. So talented. Thank man. you so thank much. You. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Keep smiling.